What is up, guys? So, as you guys can see, I am glamified today. I just finished up with a shoot with um, content in a flash and be the makeup artist. So, it was super, super fun. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys a few clips of the shoot. And then after, I'm going to talk to you guys about how I get ready for shoots and, you know, what my diet, my training, and all that good stuff consists of. And that'll be a little bit later. I'll probably show you guys my workout first. So depending on what, what time I get to my workout um, and what time Gina gets there, I'll be showing you guys. So I'll be doing a shoulder workout today. So right now, this is my third meal of the day. I am eating cream of rice and fish. Today is a high carb day. I've been low carb for the five days. There was a lack of communication with me and coach PJ. Um, I don't know. After the show, I've been just like, oh, okay, I can eat this. I can, you know, I'm not that hungry. I'm fine. I want to stay, you know, lean or whatever. And I was kind of waiting for him to tell me like, oh, like let's do a high carb day or let's do a carb cycle or, you know, he was like, oh yeah, on Saturday you're going to have your cheat meal. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay, so am I going to do a high carb day? Like yesterday, he's like, yeah, you know, just do a high carb day on on Friday for your shoot. You'll look great. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, okay. And then I was like, why am I going five days low? And I was talking to him. I'm like, why are we doing it? He's like, oh, I thought you wanted to do it. I'm like, no, I, like, I'm like, i literally a creature of structure. I follow whatever you tell me. <laughs> so, but it's okay because I looked awesome on my shoot. I like looked pretty lean and it was a since I hadn't had any carbs, it was more of like a, a lean kind of like flat look. So it wasn't too overwhelming. So I really enjoyed it. Um, the picture should come out really, really awesome. But go, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the behind the scenes. All right guys, so just got my makeup done by the one and only V and we're here. We're about to shoot. We got V, we got Nick, we got Kimena. <laughs> and we're gonna do some awesome content. So stay tuned. Today I'm trying out a different 24 hour fitness. We're at the one in Jamboree um, here in Irvine. I said Irvine earlier and Gina was like, what is that? So I'm training shoulders with Gina today and I did my hit cardio this morning, which I'll show you guys a few clips of that a little bit later. And there's no one. <laughs> and I still have to do another 45 minutes of like steady state cardio and I'm probably gonna do the elliptical today because I've been burning a good amount of calories on it and I'm really liking it. So why not? Hello guys and welcome to the voiceover over my workout. Today Gina and I are hitting pretty much a touch-up day of mainly shoulders but we hit a few back exercises as well. Um, we're kind of just feeding off the judge's feedback and kind of going with it. Here we're doing front delts uh, and if you notice we are turning our arm forward to hit more of like that front delt and upper chest. Um, so the feedback from the judges was that uh, I need a lot like a bigger V tape, which is my lats so I can widen that up and then it makes my waist look smaller. So in another feedback that I've gotten is, you know, I still need to pretty much keep growing my shoulders as well just to make everything look bigger in my upper body. However, I need to bring down my arm size. Um, as you guys can see here though, I am doing lap pull downs, which I shouldn't be doing, but since I, my back looks pretty awesome, I was like, oh, I just need to get this for the film. And I ended up just doing the four exercises, but I, I went pretty light, um, since Gina wanted to do it anyway, but no more for me of these. So as you guys can see here, we are doing, uh, the lap pull downs and we're doing it reverse on this machine just to get a different kind of activation than if you're doing it frontwards. So I can feel it more in my lats when I do it this way. 
Next, we are doing uh, lat lateral, lateral races on this machine. So as you guys notice, I'm keeping the weight on my, I don't know, the upper part of my arm. So like that, I don't use my arm. And because if you put it on your hand, you're actually using more arm than you should be. So yeah, so I'm literally changing a lot of my training just to literally bring my arms down because they're too big. Um, Gina doesn't have this issue and she's actually trying to grow her arms a bit more. So she can do all these cool exercises that I can't do. So it is what it is. But yeah, so we did these ladder races. Everything that we did was pretty much four reps. I mean, four sets, 20 reps. Here, this is a really awesome exercise that I kind of came up with. I'm sure someone has come up with it, but I'm gonna say I did. Um, this one literally hits complete uh, lats without the use of your arms. Um, I mean, unfortunately, it'll be better for you to do it with a bar and kind of keep it even more wide. That way you don't uh, use your arms at all. Because if you notice, I'm kind of bending my arms a little bit here. Um, and that's still kind of hitting the triceps. Gina over here is doing it with more of a bend. And as she's doing that, she's actually hitting more triceps with this. So the more, if you still want to use arms, bend your arms more. <laughs> so this exercise, we did it for rear delts. So this is a rear delt face pull. Um, I shouldn't be doing this exercise either, but I needed to hit my rear delts and the, uh, the, the other machine was taken. Um, and then this one is you pull and then you pull back. This is awesome for your rear delts and it's really good if you're trying to rehab your shoulder as well, if you have any kind of issues. Hey, Joseph, I'm trying to record here. So we did, once again, four sets of 20 reps of everything. Oh my God, just stop for a minute. I'm almost done. <laughs> and then I think that was our last exercise. Yes, yes it was. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So just finished up with my training and now I'm on the elliptical. I have 45 minutes of steady state to do. I wish I would have like split it up, but uh, whatever. Um, it's a good training session. I really enjoyed it. We worked out for like an hour and a half and um, I had fun. Um, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and check back on the audio on this to see if it's good enough so I can just talk about what I need to talk about. So then like that I can kill some time and then finish the video and then post. So the audio is clear. All right, so I know I'm gonna get a bunch of questions about um, what is the best techniques to like get ready for a photo shoot and what did I do and all that good stuff. So let's get to it. So I had a show last week. It was on Saturday and today is Friday. Yes, so I've had a whole week. Um, I pretty much, right after the show, I stayed pretty clean. I don't know, something in my head was just like, eh, I don't really wanna eat anything crazy or whatever. Um, so I went back on my diet. I decided to do low carb days. And from there, I went straight a whole week on low carbs. And as I said earlier, I had a like misunderstanding with PJ about what I wanted my diet to be. And I ended up just doing five days low, low carbs. So as you have seen on my other, on my stories, so pretty much what that means is just tilapia and eggs and lots of vegetables and then one serving of have a cup of oatmeal. Uh, since I don't have a show planned, I could be a little bit more lenient on things. So I eat a lot of grapes. <laughs> oh my goodness, Stephanie, your situation was so bad. I know. Um, so I did that. My cardio, I was doing 90 minutes for peak week and the coach wants to slowly bring it back down so we can have some time to rest up. So I brought it down to 75 minutes um, so I've been doing 30 minutes of my normal hit where it's like the plyos which is this
that's kind of what my hit workouts look like. I kind of collage a couple of exercises from different days, just so you guys can get an idea. Um, so I've done that every day. So I either do the hit or I do a hike with Froyo. Uh, oh wait, no, no, that's for my hit. For my hit, I either do the hit, like the plyometric functional training, or I do the stairmaster. And then on my steady state, I either do the elliptical, which is what I'm on, or I do a hike with Froyo, just because she needs her exercise and her glutes are looking hella fine. Um, so then that's what I've been doing for my cardio. After a show, guys, you don't want to like just drop cardio like crazy or right away. And I see people making that mistake a lot. I was actually on a phone call with a girl yesterday who was um, who's gonna join Team Magic, and she was telling me like, oh. I had a coach, he didn't really give me a reverse diet or anything or any guidance. He actually didn't even talked to me on peak weekend. I was like, what? That's the most important week, what happened? And um, she literally just went back to what she was doing before she even started competing. So obviously she gained some weight. She decided to cut her cardio completely off. And you know, you're gonna get some negative effects from that. So y'all like you are finishing up a show or just finishing cutting out you have to reverse diet properly so you can you know stay in good range and you're not gaining 10 20 30 pounds right after a show so keep that in mind all right so I talked about cardio I talked about food training training stays the same always um, hitting everything heavy and I'm actually gonna talk more about training and the things that I need to work on for my next shows so Stay tuned for that video. That one probably will be next. Um, I've actually been requested a lot, like, to talk about relationships and um, how to handle that. So if that's something you're also interested in hearing, let me know. Um, all right, moving on. So, okay, so training stay the same. Low carbs for the week and cardio stay the same now the photo shoot was today on friday so i've been low for sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then on friday pj put me on high carbs so just so i can get a little bit of a pump since i've been so flat on my muscles um so we can see more definition and more things like that and that's how you guys saw on the on the shoot and that's why it looks so amazing um so that's what I usually do. And then I don't go crazy with the food. Um, I typically just have, pretty sure I showed you guys. It was rice cakes and tilapia. Um, and then cream of rice and tilapia. But it was very simple, just rice and um, it was carbs and a little bit of protein. And I did add in a little bit of fats too. So, wow, this is really bad explanation, sorry. Um, so, okay, I'll break it down to you guys. So I only had one meal prior to going to the show, to the show photo shoot. And I did three ounces of fish, four rice cakes, and half a table, and one tablespoon of peanut butter. And that was it. And then while I was on the shoot, I noticed I was getting kind of flat. So I had a kind bar. Someone's getting pissed that I'm talking. Oh, he's pissed. Sorry, dude. Oh man, he's mad. Oh, sorry. Okay, he's pissed. Um, he had headphones on. Anyway, so I did that for the photo shoot. And then, so today what I did was I woke up, I had, I did my, my head cardio. Then I ate that meal that I just described, went to the photo shoot, fell flat and had a kind bar. And then for the rest of the day, I'm actually doing a high carb day. So I've had half a cup or no, a quarter cup of cream of rice, which surprisingly has more calories and more carbs than a half cup of anything that you probably even think of. It has like 40 grams of carbs, but you measure it dry. So, is it 40? Yeah. And then I had three ounces of fish with that one and a half a tablespoon of oil. And then the next meal I had just a half a cup of oatmeal and the three ounces of fish. 
and yeah so pretty much i've had three meals and that kind bar so that's it um tomorrow i'm excited i get a cheat meal so yay and i finish off my high carb day today so pretty much that's it guys i don't really do anything i don't do any water manipulation oh for water manipulation i kept my water up really high and yesterday i actually drank more water than i usually drink just to like flush it out so i had um three point something gallons of water i was really thirsty too so it helped out and then i had and then this morning i have if i do hit i have to drink water like i'm gonna be too thirsty so i had like half like half or a third uh, gallon of water with my bcas and i did my workout and then after that i just had sips of water and now that i'm at my workouts um i um now that I've done my workouts, I, I well, well, during my work, after the shoot, I just started drinking water again. I probably drank like a gallon and a half, which is like nothing for me. But well, um, okay. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if this is informative, let me know. If you like it, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you guys have any other suggestions on anything that you guys wanna see on my channel, Please feel free and then please enjoy the space. Look at it. I'm so pretty. But until then, I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one.